If you guys like couples gaming channels, then click the link down below. We play Sims over there too, and we would love to see you there. Hey guys, it's Fantasia, and welcome to another video of me reacting to Sims related stuff. So this one is actually the baby evolution from The Sims 1, Sims 2, Sims 3, and Sims 4. So I'm kind of excited to see this because I feel like, okay, I feel like I know what my reaction is going to be when, it, when they show The Sims 4 babies. Oh my god. But uh, I'm just excited to see the whole evolution. So we're going to watch this. I have it muted because it's just like music throughout the whole thing. So we're just going to be reacting. And this is by The Red Plum Bob. And let's subscribe because honestly, they have a lot of great videos. So let's open this up and let's see. I almost don't remember what sims 1 babies are like oh also we have to do our notification fantacorn fam shout out i almost forgot this one goes to laura mosley thank you so much for your comment i love you so much too and you're so freaking sweet i'm so happy that i'm just so fun to you to watch and listen to and you're super sweet uh i don't know where that pink shirt is from to be honest, I have no idea. I, I know the video you commented this on, but I have no idea where the heck that's from. You guys can check, or you can check my Tumblr. Um, and yeah, I reblog everything there on my Maxis Match one. I'm not sure if it'll be there. Um, if not, you can try the uh, Trill YKE. I don't know how to say their name, but it might be by them. Uh, so yeah, thank you for your comment. And um, just thank you for your love and support. You're super duper sweet. And if you guys want a chance to be in a notification Fantacorn Fam channel, all you gotta do is comment down below on any video. You can comment anything you want, or you can come with some unicorn emojis and turn your notifications on. Okay. I was just rambling on the, oh my God. Okay. Birth to Whoa, wait, wait, wait. In the Sims one, after romantic interactions, one of the Sims might ask to have a baby. Oh, see, I totally forget about that. Cause I was like so young when I played this. Oh, okay. 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 Should we have a baby? I kind of dig that. Um, can that be a thing again? Oh, look at the bassinet. I don't remember this. Congratulations. It's a boy, please. Oh my God. I actually love that. Okay, The Sims 2, I definitely remember. In the rest of The Sims, you need to try for a baby and be pregnant for three days. So if you guys notice there, like, they weren't pregnant. Like, they just had a baby. It just happened. <laughs> like, that's kind of cool. Okay, so this is where, like, you know, they actually, like, had um, birth and everything like that. I think, like, it was just dramatic, but I loved it. I love this little cutscene. I love it. In The Sims 2, the cutscene will play. Okay. I love it. I love the cutscenes. I miss the cutscenes. Look how cute. I love The Sims 2 babies. They're by far my favorite. Look at it. It's so cute. Oh my god. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Why do I feel like I've never seen it this way before? Oh, if the special camera event isn't enabled. Oh, I always have mine enabled. Okay, The Sims 3. In The Sims 3, you have two options. Stay at home and wait to give birth. Or, of course, you can go to the hospital. And then, so you can, like, give the baby the traits. Oh my god, I love that. And after a few painful moments, a baby will appear in the mother's arms. <gasps> oh, so cute. It was pretty great in The Sims 3 too, I feel like. And then they got memories. Um, these babies will always be wrapped in blankets. Okay, I did not like that. They were always wrapped in blankets. I like it for like when you first bring them home, but it was like an always thing. So then you can go to the hospital. Um, so I liked that we had that option in The Sims 3. I thought it was nice. In this case, your Sim will take a trip to the hospital, which is a rabbit hole. But you got to follow them because it was open world. And then you can pick their traits just the same way. I kind of like the way birth works in The Sims 3, to be honest. Sims 1 is really weird, but like it was a Sims 1. Um, it's The Sims 1. What are you, what are you going to expect? Okay, The Sims 4. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad you can still have the baby at the hospital. I mean, at least that's a thing. Um, but like, I wish the water broke. I wish it just felt more like something was happening. And it, I don't know. I wish it felt more of like, ah, you know, you know, and like, if only babies could have traits. Can you imagine? And like, they're just objects. Why? Oh. I don't like that. <laughs> and I feel like they're not cute enough. Like the Sims 2 babies are so cute. Oh my God. Okay, wait. In The Sims 1, the uh, baby is basically an object. See, they literally, okay, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to get heated. We're not trying to brand here, but literally they went back to The Sims 1 days in The Sims 4. Excuse me. Like 
this game is so old and you're gonna go back to the sims one days when babies were an object with three interactions but none if it's asleep okay like oh my god there are no options they're kind of cute not gonna lie like <laughs> look at this oh my god but i can't believe they like basically went back to the sims two uh one days in the sims four like excuse me Wh okay the three interactions are play and sing wait what i thought it's three okay whatever oh my god in the sims 2 babies wait 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 sims 2 babies are no longer objects and the crib is not okay so please tell me why they advanced so much for the sims 2 babies they became amazing cuddle baby boy play with baby boy change diaper hold baby boy talk let baby boy out the baby's name is baby boy <laughs> cribs are for a better sleep but you can take them out you can walk around with them uh leave them on the floor but it's tricky with a big house and a silent baby i can imagine oh my god like give me this they have social interactions such as cuddle and you can cuddle them anywhere and play with but if you play with too much they will throw up on you i need this in my life that's so realistic. A sim can talk to a baby who's being carried. That's so cool. It's like perfect like parent bonding with the baby. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. This way kids can talk to them as well. How freaking cute is that? I think it's so cute. Okay. The baby can be handed to another sim. I said that's so weird. Um, look, it's so precious. My heart. I'm sad. It's similar from The Sims 3, but this time, okay. Sims can cuddle them and play with them. Sims 3 babies were pretty good. I just didn't like how they're stuck in this thing. Sims can cuddle them and play with them. And no, this time they won't throw up. Kind of sucks. Evil Sims have a special interaction. Steal candy, which makes them cry. You can literally steal candy from a baby. My heart. My heart. But the detail? Hello? And like, in the on The Sims 3 store, you can get change tables and baby swings. Sims 4, they can't be taken far from the crib, but they have more interactions. Uh-huh. Well, they're just objects, and you just stand in front of the crib. Rock, make silly face, cuddle, bounce, coo at, talk, show off. But you're not even showing off the baby because they everyone has to come into the room, and they're just surrounded by the bassinet. It's not fair. <laughs> I'm literally such a crybaby. Oh my gosh. Okay, but seriously, they have so much potential. Give me it. Oh my gosh. I want Sims 2 babies. And the Sims 2 babies are cuter than the Sims 4 babies. How is that a thing? Do you guys agree the Sims 2 babies are so cute? They're so cute. I like how there's like such a long clip of this of them literally just standing at the crib. Bassinet, not even a crib. Like, <laughs> is this so like, oh. And uh, swoosh, which can only be used when the baby is crying. Oh, shoosh. What am I saying? like shush in sims 1 feeding is an option that can be found by clicking the crib oh my god said it's an option we love that <laughs> these babies just have social and hunger unlike the rest who also have hygiene okay sims 2 the option to f okay i loved this the option to feed bottles is found in the fridge and bottles create trash i love it love it that's everything look how cute they are excuse me and then they put it on the floor. It makes trash. They can also have hygiene, which can be taken care of by changing their diaper. I also love the way they change the diaper. Look at the change table. You know, okay, we're going to talk for a second here. In The Sims 3, they did start to go a little backwards. Babies were still, um, you know, actual Sims. You could take them out and stuff like that. But instead of having the change table and stuff like that, like in the game, they made it so you have to buy it on The Sims 3 store which i thought was kind of weird like it is kind of weird like that you if you want your babies to have a baby swing and a change table and a bath because i had a little toddler um uh, and like baby like well toddlers and babies could use it there's a little tub on the change table you needed to buy that on the sims store it didn't come with any pack which is kind of weird um i don't know why they did that i mean i didn't mind it but like i know some people obviously didn't like that um so yeah kind of weird but you can always bathe them in the sink i love this this is everything look at it look at that can we take a minute when did this game come out amazing amazing i want to play the sims 2 all day every day and like can we talk about how good the graphics look for a game that old and no cc Okay, so, wait, wait, wait. In The Sims, hold on. 
Um, in The Sims 3, the bottle just appears and disappears. See? It's like they started to go backwards. And you can just change their diaper anywhere. In The Sims 4, mothers have the option to breastfeed. Yes, great. I love that. But there's not much to it. And the bottle works like The Sims 3. Okay. It'll just... You know, we know this. You can only choose the diaper in the crib. Going out. Okay. I'm into this. I'm into this one. In The Sims 1, you can't travel to most places if you have a baby. Oh. Okay. Oh. <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh! Shame on you. The baby is being neglected. Make sure the baby gets enough food and sleep or someone from the social services may relieve you from your parental duties. <gasps> I didn't know that happened. Okay. Oh my gosh. You don't have a babysitter. Choose who you'd like to stay behind or you can hire a nanny for 15 plus 10 per hour. Okay. I knew that. I loved that. Okay. I'll be right over. Uh, she'll arrive shortly after. So cute. The nannies looked like the classic nannies that you would like expect. In The Sims 3, they could be taken to lots, but parents need to remain there too. Okay, I remember this completely. I used to always try to bring my babies places and then it was just like a big mistake because they're just like on the floor the whole time. Let's be real. <laughs> I would try to bring the places in the stroller. Okay. Uh, otherwise, the baby will be teleported home and a babysitter will be needed. Okay. I mean, I like that. I like the, the you know, at least the baby's not just like lost forever. Um... And then they'll just be teleported home. Sims 4, parents can walk around their district without their worries. Or without worries. Uh-huh. No responsibility. Just leave the baby in the bassinet that it's stuck in. Bye. Uh-huh. <laughs> what? What? When they travel, even if it's near, a message will pop up. Johnny has been sent to daycare. We don't even have, like, ugh, Why? It's so lame. So basically, there's no need to call a babysitter. It's automatic. Okay, so this we just read. Sims 1, you'll get a warning if you don't pay attention to the baby. We read that. I think that's really cool. Sims 1, I love the way it looks. Looks a little dollhouse. Um, I am from SimCity Social Services. I'm here to take your suffering baby. Perhaps another family will be more devoted than you have been. <gasps> oh. I, I don't remember that ever happening to me. Look at the camera controls in The Sims 1. I love it. Oh my god. I mean, it's kind of frustrating, but it's a thing. Oh my god. I love that they actually come. It's The Sims 1 seriously looks like a dollhouse, and I love everything about that. <laughs> and then they just leave with your baby. Parents don't even seem to notice. <gasps> okay, wait. Again, in The Sims 2, you'll get warnings and the social worker is sent. No one's paying attention. enough attention to baby boy. Children need social interaction with family members to be happy and healthy. What kind of parent lets a child go hungry? Baby boys, just skin and bones. Feed that child and fast. And then if you don't, I remember this. I think I had this happen to me once. She'll arrive in a blue van. How evil am I? Like, I actually think this has happened to me. And again, we'll walk into the house and take the baby away. Oh, me heart. She'll take a little extra time to yell at the parents. I feel like this one affects me the most because the Sims 2 babies seem more like real babies that you love you know i feel like in the sims sometimes they act like babies like are nothing because oh they just like cry and poop and make noises but like in real life like babies are a big deal you fall in love with them they're your everything like hello <laughs> okay the if the social worker has no way out uh for some weird reason she'll teleport okay um and then she just goes oh my heart. Parents don't get sad or negative memories from. They don't get sad or negative memories from this. Ew. This is The Sims 2. What do you mean? How? That's impossible. I don't believe it. It's it's obviously correct because this is a video where they've like done their research. But what? So many Sims. So many things in The Sims 2 they're affected by, and when they take the baby away, they're not affected. What? I don't get that. Comment down below if you don't get that. The Sims 2 has all the detail and they leave that out? So important. How? Oh my gosh. If Annie is not fed soon, the social world will be forced to take her away. The Sims 3, warning. Okay. Um, so you get the warning. And then you can see, that, like, wait, you've treated your children poorly and the government is going to take them away. Whoa. In this case, the social worker is a male and will teleport the baby right away. 
I don't think I've ever had this happen in The Sims 3. I don't think. Um, then he heads to the car and goes away. And your baby's gone. Do they react negatively in this one? <gasps> they do. Parents get negative moodlets from this. Okay. See, they had like an improvement. Okay. When a caregiver fails at his or her duty, everyone feels bad. Children need love and care. Aww. Sims 4, after the warning, the baby just straight out disappears from the crib. Wow, of course it does. No more social worker, anything like that. Due to neglect, Johnny is being whisked away. Yep, bye. And parents are given a sad mood. Like, okay, okay, I like that. What did it say? A whisked, a, a baby whisked away. A neglected baby can draw a tear from even the staunchest sim. Okay. That's weird. <laughs> I feel like that's a weird moodlet, but sure. Growing up. If you survive the social worker, it normally takes babies three days to age up. Look at the thing. Oh my God. I love it. <laughs> and they age up to a kid. So they're... <gasps> Can we take a minute? Can we take a minute? Do you guys just notice something? How did The Sims 4 first release? We had babies. And they aged up two children. How is The Sims 1 happening here? Babies are objects, just like The Sims 4. They age up into children, not toddlers. I'm sorry. What? Why are we going back to The Sims 1? I mean, they've given us toddlers now. However, you know why I think they've done that? Because everyone was so pissed off. And they, like, demanded it so hard. It was, like, a big thing. Tell me. The, the, the prove me wrong would we have toddlers right now if it wasn't in such high demand i feel like we wouldn't it's like <laughs> like they didn't think it was a big deal to leave it out what the heck i can't believe they are like going back to the sims one genetics don't work on the sims one so you pretty much just get a random kid okay i mean it's the sims one sims two babies need adults to help them age into toddlers and then we have toddlers Genetics were introduced in The Sims 2. In The Sims 3, they are covered in sparks again. Uh, the Asian two toddlers, you can change how long it takes for them to age up. Okay, in The Sims 4, you're given the option to age them up as soon as they're born. Which is also kind of weird. Um, <laughs> but sure. This is cute, though. These toddlers walk as default, so the first thing they do... Okay, I hate that. In The Sims 4, we can't teach the toddlers to walk anymore. They literally... It's like they're learning to walk for the first time when they first age up. You know, like they walk to the parent and he picks them up. I don't get that. First of all, I think that interaction is so cute and I would love to see it all the time. Um, I would love to teach them to walk. I loved that in other Sims games. And I don't understand why they can just walk. Apparently it's because the toddlers are supposed to be older in The Sims 4, but like why? Um, I don't know. I, I don't get it. I feel like they could have still made it so we have to teach them to walk. I don't know why that's not a thing. Clearly the animation's there. They're like walking. Like what? Okay, the winner to me is The Sims 2 um, for that for sure. Ooh, we have to watch this one soon. Oh my gosh, I want to react to all of these. Do you guys want me to do that? Um, <laughs> the university comparisons. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I just want to clarify. I am not trying to bash The Sims 4 in any way. We're going to leave it here. Um, I love The Sims 4. I just, it just, there are certain things I just don't understand. And I wish we could teach toddlers how to walk. I really wish we could. That would be amazing. I don't know why we can't. They just like learn their skill by walking around. It's kind of weird, but you know, what are you going to do? But you guys, I am going to wrap this video here. What did you guys think of this? What do you think is the best babies? Let me know. I am super curious what you guys think. I think the best babies is The Sims 2. Um, I just think they're the best. They're the cutest. You can do so much with them. They're, I don't know. They feel more lifelike to me. So I'm going to wrap this up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day. And don't forget to leave some positivity down below. And I love you guys all so, so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Listen up, there's not a thing that I can't get